Okay, hello, dear friends. Word of mythology, Hades. Okay, so let's start to read Hades. So Hades left from、uh, far left. This is Hades. Ruled the underworld. The underworld.、Mm. This painting by Jan、uh, Brugel, the elder, shows Hades sitting with his wife, Persephone. Okay, Hades. Okay, now we can see it. Hades in Greek mythology. Hades ruled. The underworld, the souls of the dead were brought to his kingdom. He made sure that they did not leave the underworld. Ancient Ro- Romans had another name for Hades. They called him Pluto, which means god of wells. Pluto was sought. To be very rich, he owned the treasures, such as gold and gem, found under the earth. Hades was the most feared of all gods. People were even afraid to speak his name. They did not want to draw Hades' attention. 阎王爷，嗯 ，People believed they would die sooner than normal if Hades, if Hades noticed them. It's exactly like the same, same like the Chinese. 别让别让阎王爷派一个小鬼儿把你给抓过去。嗯 ，Ancient Greeks and Romans believed in many gods. Like Hades,、uh, gods in myths looked and acted like people, but the gods were immortal; they lived forever. The gods also were very powerful. People believed they controlled everything that happened in the world. Hades. Hades, Demeter, Ceres, Hades' sister and goddess of growing things, Ceres. Greek name Hades, Roman name Pluto, ruler of the underworld. Greek name Hera, Roman name Juno, Hades' sister and goddess of marriage. And childbirth. Greek name: Estia. Estia.、Uh, a Roman name: Vesta. Hades' sister and goddess of the home. Greek name: Odysseus. Roman name: Ulysses. Ulysses. Odysseus. Greek hero who adventures. Whose adventure are told in Homer's *The Odysseus*? Greek name Persephone,、uh, Roman name Proserpina. Proserpina. Proserpina.、Mm. Hades' wife and Demeter's daughter. Greek name Poseidon, Roman name Neptune. Hades' brother and god. Of the sea, Greek name Zeus, Roman name Jupiter, Hades' brother and the ruler of the Olympians. About mythology, the word myth comes from comes from the Greek word mythos. It means word or story. Mythology is a collection of stories. Myths show how ancient people understood their world. 
Long ago, people did not know how to explain things scientifically. Instead, people told myths. Some myths told about things that occurred in nature. These stories may explain why the seasons changed, or why echoes occurred in the mountains. Myths. About Hades, explained what happened to people after they died. Many characters in myths were gods. Ancient people thought pleasing the gods would bring them happiness and good fortune. People often prayed to their favorite gods to help. People brought food and treasures to the gods' temple to honor them. Artists painted pictures or made statues of the gods. The birth of Hades. The painting by Pietro da Gort. Dona, Cordona, Pietro da Cordona, shows Cronos, Cronos, swallowing one of his children. Cronos swallowed his children to trap them in his stomach. He swallowed the children and trapped them inside his stomach. The birth. Of Hades, Hades' father was the Titan, Cronos. He ruled the gods. Hades' mother was the Titaness, Rhea. Crono and Rhea had six children. They had three girls: Hestia, Demeter, and Hera. Their three boys were named Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus. Cronos worried that his children would be stronger than he was. Kind of jealous of his own children, Cronos decided to swallow his children after they were born. His children did not die. They were immortal, even those babies were gods, were immortal. Cronos only trapped them in his stomach. Cronos' behavior angered Rhea. She tricked Cronos when their last child, Zeus, was born. Rhea gave Crono a stone wrapped. In a blanket to eat instead of Zeus, so he tricked. He gave him a piece of、uh, rock and、uh, wept in the blanket and said, "Oh, this is my last child, last child. So this is my child. This is your 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 child. So you can swallow." And、um, Crono swallowed and see what happened. Once Zeus was born, he tricked Cronos into throwing up the children he had swallowed. Zeus and his brothers and sisters then fled to Mount Olympus in Greece. There, they became known as the Olympians. So. Uh, Zeus, because he was not swallowed, Rhea, his mother saved him. So he he grew up, and then he made a trick. I forgot what exactly that trick, and um, and uh, it's a long story short. So he he got his father swallow, and he father his father Cronos.、Um, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, burped out, and uh, and uh, and all the six children born, and the children flew to fly, fly to Mount Olympus, Olympus. 
Okay. Rulers. Ruler of the underworld. Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Piel. Painting. The court of death shows Hades in the center. Hades. As a dark and grim figure. Miss said Hades became gloomy and unpleasant from living in the underworld. He always lived in the underworld, never see sunshine, never see brightness. So his mood is becoming quite gloomy and yeah, that is quite a, a true re reflection of uh, anybody who lived uh, Inside, do not see sunshine, right? Kind of makes sense. Ruler of the underworld, the Olympians decided to overthrow Kronos, but they needed help. Kronos had the support of many powerful titans. Zeus freed the cy Cyclops, the cyc I think Cyclops is one eye, something. The Cyclops and the 100 handed giants. Kronos had locked up these monsters and they disliked him. They promised to help Zeus and the Olympians. So those monsters was locked up and they did not like it. They did not like what Kronos has done to lock them up. They promised, okay, Zeus, I will help you to deal with your dad. Your dad would, uh, you know. The Olympians and monsters fought Kronos and the Titans. After 10 years of fighting, the Olympians finally won the battle. They locked up many of the titans beneath the earth. Hades, Zeus, and Poseidon then decided who would rule each part of the world. Zeus picked the first and chose the heavens. Poseidon was second and picked the sea. Hades was left with nothing but underworld. Nobody wanted to rule the underworld. It was a cold and dark place. There was no sunlight. It was filled with the souls of the dead. Hades spent a great deal of time alone in the underworld. He began to act cold and grim like the kingdom he ruled. He began, began to become part of his world, which is the underworld. The telling of the myth. The Telling of the Myths. Gustave Moreau, Moreau, Moreau's painting, Hesiod and the Muse, shows Hesiod, right, sitting with a muse. In Miss Muse inspires artists to paint, to sculpt, and to write. Ancient Greeks and Romans believe Hesiod was inspired by a muse. Muse. Hesiod. The telling of myths. Greece, Greeks told the first myths about Hades around 2000 BC, so that was about 2000 years ago. At the time, myths were not written down. Storytellers told myths out loud to crowded people by mouth, just to tell the story like 
What you are listening now, it's telling a story. Homer was a Greek poet who lived around 800 BC. He told quest. He told quest myths in his two long poems. He told quest myths. He told the myth- mythology and stories. He had two very most famous poets, long poets, the Iliad and the Odysseys. Iliad and Quest myths are about heroes. In his poems, Homer told about the adventure of Odysseus and other heroes. Miss say Miss say Odysseus ruled the Greek island of Isaka. Many historians believe Hestia Hesiod was one of the early Greeks who told certain who told creation myths. This myth told how the world and the gods were created. Hesiod lived around um, 750, 750 BC, which was about uh, Homer's time. Hesiod told creation myths in his long poem, Siogani. Siogani. Hesiod, this is a, a male figure. Mm. I'm a little bit confused. Later, people wrote. Later, people wrote plays, reading uh, using popular myths. The first plays were f- performed around five hundred thirty BC in Athens. Greece. Historians believe that many myths known today are versions of these early plays. So now we see different uh, uh, plays. They trace the back to the old, very, um, very original plays. The end world. Now let's take a uh, a look. Poet William Blake painted this image of Cerber- Cerberus. Cerberus. Cerberus guarded the entrance of the underworld. Cerberus. This is very much like a, like a chimera, right? Chimer- chimera. Yeah. The end of world. Ancient Greeks and Ro- Romans believed everybody had a soul or spirit. After a person died, the soul still lived. A person's body had to be buried after death. If it was not, not buried, the person's soul would wander the world as a ghost, so have to be buried. If not buried, will be a walking dead. In in myths, the underworld was on the other side of the river Styx. Oh, there is a river Styx, I did not know. Mm. The ferryman Chaung Shahung carries souls across the river in his boat, but only if he was paid. That is actually quite a, 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 a Chinese thing. Well, in in if in a, it's kind of a, a superstition. We treat people who walk in the funeral with with a lot of respect or or sometimes give uh, give uh, 
give gifts, give something so that uh, the, the past people, the people who descended can live, can go across the river to, to heaven, to uh, another world in a better condition. Yeah, kind of makes sense. It must be universal, I think, that feeling, that feeling of, uh, uh, of uh, sorrow, gratitude, a very complicated feeling, yes. People often bury the dead with a coin to pay Sha Hong. That is, yeah. The dog, Seberus, 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 the dog, Seberus, guarded the entrance to the underworld. This huge three-headed dog had a dragon-like tail. Yeah, it's a chimera. It has a, a dragon-like tail. Cerberus made sure only the dead entered the underworld. If you are alive, you cannot. That is his job. He makes sure no living people goes in. He's... Uh, he is the 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 the, the um, doorkeeper of the walking dead, only dead. A soul was judged, was judged, after it entered the underworld. Evil souls were punished far below Hades' castle. Good souls were sent to a beautiful place called the Elysian field, Elysian field. Wow. Hades and Persephone. Gian Lorenzo Bernini. So this is a painting by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Bernini statue shows Hades kidna kidnapping Persephone. Sibirus is sitting at Hades' feet. So this is the three-headed monster, and this is Hades, and this is Persephone. Hades and Persephone. Demeter was the goddess of growing things. Demeter's daughter was Persephone. Persephone loved the plants her mother grew. One day, Hades saw Persephone in the meadow. He thought she was beautiful and wanted to marry her. But Hades knew Persephone would not agree to be his wife. She loved sunlight, flower, and trees. Yeah, Persephone was uh, was the daughter of Demeter. Demeter was the, the 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 goddess of growing things. Of course, she likes growth, like sunshine, trees, plants, flower, fruits. The underworld did not have these things. Hades decided to kidnap Persephone, and take her to the underworld. Oh my goodness, what a evil spirit. Demeter missed her daughter. Demeter was so unhappy. Nothing grew while Persephone was with Hades. Yeah, so this might be the story of seasons. Let's listen. Demeter asked Zeus to free Persephone from the underworld. Zeus decided that Persephone could go free, but each year she had to spend four months with Hades. Ancient Greeks and Romans used this myth to explain why nothing grows during the winter months. Nothing grows because Demeter was sad and Persephone was with Hades. So it was 
the winter time. It's cold. It's uh, it's green. Nothing grows. Well, that per perfectly makes sense. Or fears. All fears. All fears. Place for all fears. All fear. All fears. Place for Hades. All fears. Let's take a look. Matthias Stomer painted all fears and Persephone. Orpheus. This painting shows Orpheus ask Hades to allow Yuri Dice to leave the underworld. Persephone helped convince Hades to let her go. Can you let? So, so this painting Orpheus ask. Hades to allow mm, Eurydice to leave the underworld. Eurydice is somewhere we do not see. And Persephone uh, convince, help to convince, let her go. She can go. Yeah, something. Orpheus. Orpheus. Yes, I pronounced right. Orpheus plays for Hades. Myths say that Orpheus was the world's best musician. Orpheus is a man. Let her go. Hmm? Mm -mm. Convince Hades to let her go. I'm a little bit confused, okay? His music was so beautiful that it could calm wild animals. One day, a snake by, by bit. Eurydice, Eurydice, Orpheus wife. Oh, Eurydice. Mm, right. Eurydice is a, a woman. Mm. Orpheus wife. She died from the snake's venom and went to the underworld. Orpheus was saddened. He decided to go to the underworld to ask Hades for of for Eurydice to return, to ask her back, my beautiful wife, and uh, 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 and bit by the bitten by the snake, the venom, and but I want her back. Orpheus' music charmed Hades. Hades agreed to let Eurydice go, but he had two conditions. Orpheus had to walk ahead of Eurydice when they left the underworld. Orpheus also could not look back at Eurydice until they reached the sunlight. Orpheus agreed to these terms. He left the underworld with Eurydice following him. Eurydice did not look back until he stepped into the sunlight. But it was too soon. Eurydice had not stepped into the light. The moment Orpheus saw her, Eurydice was pulled back into the underworld. Music. Is this the reason music is always about sadness? Just think about it. All the good musicians, all the good music pieces, all the masterpieces is about struggle, is about uh, suffering, is about pain. And whenever a person, a person, an artist live a happy, successful life, they have no more masterpiece music. Beethoven, who else? Yeah, you name it. 
mythology today. This sculpture, this sculpture of Sha Hong was made around AD 300. It's after. Um, so that's about once early. That's about uh, uh, 1,700 years ago. It shows the ferryman asking for payment from the souls of the dead. Ah, he asked for payment. Below is an image of Pluto, the furthest planet from the sun. To its right is a Shahong, Pluto's moon. Pluto. Is Pluto the, the cyber bully? Because it's so small. Let me. Pluto. Pluto planet is a planet or not. I think it's it's about Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet, yeah. So they 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 kick out Pluto because uh, it's a cyber bully. You are too small, kind of not. Uh, yeah, it's beyond my knowledge anyway. Mythology today, mythology is still popular today. Many books and movies retell myths. Painters and sculptors create artwork of gods and mythical characters. The Thomas Jefferson Memorial in Washington, D.C. and other buildings have columns similar to ancient temples. Our solar system is filled with names from myths. The planet were the planets were named after Roman go, Roman gods. Pluto is the furthest planet from the sun. It is dark and cold, much like the mythical god Pluto, the Roman name for Hades. <coughs> Yeah, it's the underworld. <clears throat> Pluto's moon is called Shahong after the ferryman on River Styx. Yeah, Shahong, he is guide, the, 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 the Pluto, the planet. Ancient Greeks sometimes call the underworld the house of Hades. Over time, people stopped thinking of Hades as a god. Hades became the name of the place where souls of dead go. Some religions have a place called Hades in their teachings. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in Chinese, it's Nian Wang Ye de Di Yu. Yeah, there are Shi Ba Teng Di Yu. There are all these kind of uh, different. Every uh, religion, every country, every culture has its way to express the similar feeling. It often is a place of punishment uh, for the souls of evil people. Ancient ferrymen, grim, immortal, kidnap, overthrow, titan, underworld, Vernon. That's about it. Hades. <laughs>